Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're back again. Storm here. Mom here. Kimmy here. We're going to be watching Underworld today. Mom and Kim are completely blind to this. They don't know anything about it. They thought it was called yeah, Underground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it was and um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited. We're going to try something different this time because we have a lot of people who want us to read descriptions of movies before we watch it blind, and many who don't. And I understand both points of view because I have seen Underworld a long time ago, and I won't really talk about it because I don't want to say anything about it. But anyways, you have a very different perspective knowing a little bit, just like when you watch trailers, you know, and you get excited about something and, you know, kind of that gets you all revved right. up before the movie starts and you get to know a little bit about the world. And I think that is good too. But at the same time, I do love how pure you guys are going into certain things learning for the first time what a world is about because I mentioned a couple times in the channel when you guys saw Men in Black you had no clue what that meant at all you thought like what men dressing in black or something I can't remember what your <laughs> thought was but <laughs> the whole idea of you learning that there were aliens in that world and you were oh like God. what like it dawning on you slowly dawning on you oh, yeah. oh, sorry bad pun um that it was just so great to see that reaction because a lot of us don't know many people who don't know mainstream movies and stuff. And that includes me. Like I know a lot more than you guys do, but I still haven't seen nearly as much as a normal person would in this day and age, you know? And That's was, amazing. Yeah, so this channel is wonderful for that because <laughs> right. everything is pretty much pure, especially with you guys. And it's always pure, but you know what I mean? Like um, where you guys yeah. haven't seen anything or know anything you learn right. on the channel and from our fans. So thank you guys for always filling us in. And it's wonderful. I think it's a lot of fun. We don't research anything online. I mean, you know, now and again, because through requests through you guys, you know, we'll read a quick premises or something of a movie or just read mm -hmm. about the actors and but we try to stay away from premises sometimes because I know a lot of people have been kind of um, not liking us doing that because then it kind of spoils things sometimes. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. anywho, we're going to be watching on Netflix today. And just to throw it out there, Underworld, what do you think it means? Not underground, Underworld. Darkness, Underground. <laughs> I've been always thinking Underground, but I know it's Underworld, so some kind of scary darkness. <laughs> and I too, I thought I was going to be underground, and I just thought I was like the Underground Railroad or something. <laughs> but anyway, um, Underworld, I think it's going to be a different, a completely different world oh, yeah. that is dark. Underworld seems like it could be crime or something like that. Dark sounds wow, good to me. Wow, a dark <laughs> like that. Yeah. Criminal so, world. <laughs> you can kind of see a thumbnail a little bit, which I don't want you guys to speculate, but there is like a moon on there and it's really small. You can't really see anything on it, but it has a woman on the front of it. So shall we just watch it and then we'll chat after? Sure. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Underworld. Victory, it seemed, was in our grasp. The very birthright of the vampires. 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 <laughs> that was her partner. Just hanging mm -hmm. like that. Can you even imagine. <laughs> oh, what else came up with him? 
Oh, doing it yourself. Oh, <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> oh, good knock. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jumping. Good evening. But they're looking for you right now. Oh, so is she. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh oh. Here he is, the main guy. Oh boy. Hello, Michael. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Wow. Man, how fast he's going. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> These guys are real cops, though. I'm worried if they're Lakens, too. Ugh. Oh. oh, crap. Damn. He's a Lycan. What? He was bitten by what? one. This raucous. <laughs> we don't get our bullets out quickly enough, they end up dying on us during questioning. What do you do with them afterwards? We put the bullets back in. Mm. What are you nope. doing? From here on out, you'll do as I say. Is that in any way unclear? Good, he needed that. <laughs> Good for her. Man! Ah, man. Ah. Jump! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Jump! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Don't go in with them. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy, here it goes. <laughs> it's blowing <full of> music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that must be painful. Oh my goodness. Ow. <laughs> They were beating him. Ah. Right in front of him. Don't even think about leaving. Uh -oh. <laughs> For all those centuries. 
Super fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it. Ouch. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> yeah. That hurt. <laughs> Holy oh. crap. Right there. Mm -hmm. Challenge. <laughs> Got the gun mm -hmm. with the special bullets. Son of a bitch. Oh. 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 What the hell are you doing? Be stronger than both. The consequences of this night will reverberate through the halls of both great covens for many years to come, and soon I will become the hunted. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> that cop car. I love the music so much. Oh my. <laughs> so, what did you think that ending meant? So now she's going to be the hunted because she killed Victor. Victor, yeah. For, for her beliefs, or because she, because now she is with Michael. Michael, yes. Who is also their crossbreeding, right? So yeah. Maybe he'll have the same mentality as Victor, and mm -hmm. um, he's not going to like that. And he's going to go after her because she, now she's she, she's the one who's, you know, well, actually, I don't know why, because it doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, it seems like they stopped the war. Yeah. So but he has That's the right. same mentality as when he went into the state now. So I'm thinking it's because of Victor's relationship. I mean, uh, excuse me, of Michael's relationship with her mm -hmm. yeah. now. There are a lot of things going on here. It's quite complicated, but it's good. I love how they handled it in this movie. Yeah. So right at the end, when you saw that guy. Oh, it's his blood. Mm-hmm. And so he his, is his a lichen. His lichen blood went down there. Okay, so that, I I saw that. So and that's I something different, too. Doing, yeah. Right? Because right. now a lichen <laughs> is going into a vampire. 
yeah in a different that's way right. oh yeah because that's always that's forbidden right. right like it's unheard yes. of apparently yeah. the vampires were never allowed to look back into history they just went by right. whatever the elders said and that was it you don't question it that's right. so this feud has been going on for a long time this war and yes. from the start yes. you thought that the lichens the werewolves were the enemy sure we were yeah, the yes. right, yeah. and not until the memories that michael was seeing that we that's saw right. that that wasn't the case lucius yeah, yeah. was he was the victim because he fell in love with victor's daughter yeah that's right isn't, isn't that crazy that, it's yeah, not even yeah, falling crazy. in love with that. the I other species so it was his daughter yeah, right. too that's yeah, right. and he had her killed. So that makes you right. think more about Victor, yeah. right? Exactly. Like he yeah. was he was a monster. He was the monster Definitely. because he killed. He said that she had um, this crossbred in her womb, so she was pregnant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So not only did he kill his daughter, he ultimately killed his grandchild. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. All because he didn't want to mix the bloodlines. He didn't That's want to right. mix species right, together. Yeah. And it was That's ironic right. that, um, you know, I almost said, boy, she looks just like Selena. Celine. Celine, yeah. And yeah. I was like, man, I said, no, I'm not, you know, not going to say anything. But that's the reason why, because Celine looks so much like his daughter and he couldn't he couldn't face killing her. Yeah. So isn't there something? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy how that was the connection, I guess, that saved her life, per se, and yeah. how righteous he was, how mm -hmm. he's like, Victor's telling her, well, I gave you a gift on top of that. So right, in I a way, I gave you a blessing, yeah. so God, it's okay, true. and that was so bad. So were you guys, like, utterly shocked that Craven was telling the truth there? Like, what did you think when he actually told her the truth and said, oh, well, Victor's been lying to you, the Lycans didn't kill your family, he did. Like, did you believe well, yeah. him? I was shocked at first. Yeah, I thought, I thought, well, I, I did believe him. You did believe I believed him only because I saw what Michael's, Michael's memories were, uh, that we yeah. saw him, you know, we saw Lucius really, I mean, he saw his love, you know, just disintegrate before his eyes right, because yeah. of the sunlight. Uh -huh. And under Victor's hands, it was all Victor. That's yeah. Right, Victor. Yep. And not only, like, he didn't kill her out of rage, like, maybe, but he actually mm -hmm. thought it through and planned it out to make it the worst torture possible to mm -hmm. tie her mm -hmm. up and have Lucian watch, like, being mm -hmm. chained up and watch her burn. Like, that just oh, yes, really so sucked. Yeah. And oh, thanks, Dad. Like, thanks for loving me that much. But that's how yeah. strong he yeah. felt about keeping their species separate, like just yeah, demeaning right, yeah. the lichens. And even Lucian said that they were enslaved for so long. You know, right. They were scared yeah, of the vampires. Yeah. They had complete control over them. That's yeah. right. So and for, for her to think otherwise, and that's what happens in a war. Unfortunately, you always believe your side or what, you know, what was told to you and what was, what you lived through, you thought the other yeah. side was bad and this is what happens mm -hmm. and craven was a little he was a little creepy guy but you know yeah, he just he was, yeah. he was great in that was, role i really liked his he was, character he was, he was like was. conniving and kind of snivelly like cowardly yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and he was just being so um it was kind of uh i don't know creepy not creepy but it was kind of i don't know cowardly if you will or something to be so obsessed with Celine, like he wanted her at his side all the time. That's right, yeah. No one else was good enough. Mm -hmm. He wanted and to control her. Yeah. He was obsessed and with her, yeah. Right. He, he was. Her. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. And it kept going back to that too. And I think he was cowardly. He was paranoid because he mm -hmm. needed to control the situation with Lucian. Mm -hmm. I mean, like the ultimate betrayal. And he didn't even care about combining species. It wasn't that. He wanted just the power or whatever and i think was just afraid of lucian so just did what he mm -hmm. said to have a deal because he wanted peace of the lichens he probably didn't want not blood in his hands but he seemed scared like craven didn't want to be hurt or anything like he always seemed to let his henchmen handle things oh and, that's right yeah you know oh, just right. kind of like always i don't know just seemed like a spoiled brat kind of thing and 
He oh, really wanted definitely. Celine. Yes. And was in denial about it. He just kept thinking he could get what he wants. Because even with yeah. Celine being nasty right back at him, which I thought was awesome, and yeah, she uppercut him, good. which, oh, like, her. that was cool. <laughs> yes. But immediately I would think, you're doomed. Like, he's going to kill you. But at the same time, she's technically Victor's daughter, or he adopted her like one. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. he did anything to her, then he probably would have to pay for it. So maybe that's why he just dealt with it. But I took it mm -hmm. as Craven's just weak, and he doesn't mm -hmm. have the strength to really handle Celine anyway. Yeah. So, you know, he just yeah, kept he trying to have control of her something he couldn't so yes. but he really lived up well Precisely. to his character and oh my gosh just yeah. so crazy i mean victor too seeing how strong he was like he's like the ultimate vampire or one of them I know. Oh to go gosh. up against yeah. that lichen no problem that real strong one bare oh hands man. oh my god yeah yeah and i love seeing that too the power difference where here you have these lichens. Not only can they walk around in sunlight, vampires can't. That's a huge weakness. But they are so strong, one can take out many vampires, and they're terrified of them. They're super strong. And they're fast. Oh, and they can, very, yeah, very fast. They're very yeah. fast, and they can crawl on walls in any direction, oh, even wow. like right yeah. above you, as massive and heavy as they are. Like they're very agile. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it's, it's, they have every right to be scared of oh, them. Boy for that reason and what they're told and what they're trained to believe that mm -hmm. they're the monsters and they started the war mm -hmm. and they're vicious beasts that just kill for killing's sake and you know that vampires are only mm -hmm. supposed to kill them at every chance that they get. Yeah. So yeah. obviously yeah, you guys true. know the whole time why the Lycans were going after Michael. Yes. Yeah. They wanted to crossbreed. They wanted to get his blood and make the strongest Oh, so what yes. is he, uh, a Viking or something now? Is there Viking? Yeah, Viking, Viking. that's what they become yeah, after Viking, yeah. Viking, yeah. Viking yeah. and a Viking. We're going to mix uh, everything, Norse okay, mythology and everything vamp, in there, why not? <laughs> so with Corvinus, they mentioned that name a few times, and yes. he, I guess, is an immortal or one of the first, or is the first immortal, and mm -hmm. he had a bloodline that was still continuing till today. And mm -hmm. they were looking for all these Corvus, Corvin, like anyone, I guess, with a similar name mm -hmm. and to see if he still like if they if that bloodline could actually withstand both species blood. You oh. know, so that's where they were yeah. looking for him. And he looks like he is a direct descendant. So it's, I thought it was yes. kind of cool oh, wow. to see him become both. Like, what did you think he was going to look like when he changed? <laughs> I thought he was going to look more like Lycan. I didn't think he yeah, was going to look more yeah. man-like. Mm -hmm. Me too. I thought it was kind of neat because I kind of thought the yeah. same thing, that he would look like a different kind of werewolf. But mm -hmm. I like the transition because it is a good 50-50 kind of. Because if mm -hmm. it was too human, then I, I wouldn't be able to relate more with the Lycan yeah. part. But I think it was a really good mix. I also like how the Lycans were more cat-like. They're still dogs, I guess, but they had mm -hmm. more cat features, I want to say. Like in their jaw, like their snouts were shorter. They yeah, had and they're climbing jaws all over everything. Like, yeah, like, like, a cat like big would. nails and stuff, oh, which I kind of yeah. associate werewolves with big nails, like in costumes and stuff. Oh, you see sure. that. And I'm yeah. sure a lot of movies that we haven't seen show that. Um, and just seeing pictures out in Halloween, I'm, you know, we always see like long claws, oh, missing yeah. vicious oh, animal God. long yes. claws. So um, I like Howling. how they made it more cat-like. They just look really yeah. beefy and cool looking and um, love it. And it was cool too, where they did have a lot of special effects in this, but we also had a lot of animatronics costumes and I just love that feel. It makes it more authentic, you know, and just, um, yeah. Even though, like, sometimes the crawling on the walls, it's supposed to be dark. Like, my TV is a little lighter, so I can see them more. So sometimes, like, it doesn't pull you away so much from watching the movie, but you are kind of aware that it is a special effect to a certain extent because it's so extreme. But I give this movie a lot of credit for expanding and taking risks there where you do see things, even though it is dark, you do see things more right in your face and it's well done. Like it was a lot of fun. It was scary. It was thrilling. And it was, oh, and I loved was. Celine's was. moves, boy. Oh, she was boy, she amazing, <laughs> awesome. Right, and yeah. you putting the firearms in the mix of this whole thing, this oh, my whole gosh. war, was just like this other level of, oh my god. Remind me of Matrix. 
<laughs> kind of, yeah, I kind of did. Cause, moment, yeah. I mean, we'll look at the year in a moment, but we're watching on Netflix right now and there's no information up right this moment. But um, yeah, like she was using a lot of weapons. She's very skilled. Yeah, that's right. And then she it's has a long coat, a long, long trench coat, yeah. Yeah. exaggerated yeah. movements because yeah. she has like superpowers. Vampires Street have like arms. extreme powers, that's right? right? Yeah. She can jump really high, land from a very far distance and... I love the slow motion mm -hmm. scenes. We were seeing that, not exactly like the Matrix, but it did remind me of that. A lot of slow yeah, motion yeah. turns and jumps, and then her shooting out the hallway when she's oh, trying to get yes. away from all the, <laughs> I don't know if it was Lucian at the time, but I think she was trying to get away from the other werewolves, and she's shooting up the floor and then falls through. And that was I love slow that. Motion that, was with the coat. Yeah. that was a great scene. Yeah. So that made me yeah, think of it cool. too. Yeah. Music is not the same, but I will relate it again to that too, because you had some heavy basses now and again. It was like do do, and it kind of reminded me more of like technology and stuff for some reason. And I would just like, mm -hmm. you know, um, feel the Matrix a little bit as well. So I think it came out around the same time. But yeah, so I am curious. You guys were surprised because they went in completely blind, not knowing anything That's about right. this besides <laughs> the name of the movie. I knew it was going to be something dark, that's all. I knew it was going to, yeah. Yeah, something to do with the underworld. Same thing. I thought it was going to be more like out of this world kind of thing. But, yeah. you know, right off the bat, that's they said vampires. Way. And I'm like, okay, we're in okay, for a treat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. It's been a and it was so sad, though. They started off where the humans are. And they have no idea what's going on. And there were yeah. so many victims in that subway area mm -hmm. and the darn yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't go and take off and that was that was pretty insane mm -hmm. and i was like oh this is going to be was. this is going to be a lot of bloodshed if they stay up above you know <laughs> as violent as this was it's not as violent as i remember it and i i don't know like some movies that i watch i'm like oh yeah like i just remember it very differently and it's like one way or the other where i'm wrong where i'm like oh yeah there is a lot more violence in this than i remember or you know and again this one is pretty darn violent but yeah um and yes it has a lot of gore but I know I'm contradicting what I'm saying here, but like there were a lot of moments that weren't always like right in your face. Like, yeah, we did yeah. have a few, yeah. but not a ton. Yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm kind of happy for that. Yeah. <laughs> I really do enjoy this for what it is, even with all the violence, like it just works really well. I mean, they're in a war and you have these vicious creatures. I mean, they're, they have superpowers and you know, they're just so full of hate on both sides. So yeah, sure. if you didn't have that, then it wouldn't be as realistic. It wouldn't feel as, you know, as uh, dangerous and right and then you have this poor innocent victim who's a doctor who's trying, trying to be in <laughs> work in a hospital and just trying to live life and bam oh you ain't going back to that anymore no, i don't blame not. his friend either for getting the cops where he thought they were really cops um you know and trying to get him some help oh, when he yeah, came back to get some assistance with his bite but mm -hmm. man that was kind of funny that, you know, the poor guy is like, oh, sure, let me go get the cops for me. <laughs> you need to go somewhere else. Thank God he knew right away to take God. off. He's like, yeah, I can't stay here. You yeah. Stay there. yeah. But the That's build up of him, like, being bitten by Lucian and then, oh, crap, That's now he's right, going to yeah. change. And I remember hearing you guys when he was brought back to the Covenant and they were like her friend or kind of friend who was like jealous of the her. girl that yeah the she was really yeah, 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 yeah and she found out that he was bitten and then they started calling him the lichen you guys were like no he's human and it's cool to like because you're so pure to it and just learning yeah. this world i mean again like movies can be different they could have different rules on what vampires can do whether walk in the sunlight or not usually yeah. they can't um but here like you guys were like, well, he's human, but I'm like, yeah, but he was bit. So now the blood of a lichen's through him. So he is technically a lichen, even though he didn't change. Yet. And I didn't think he That's was right. going to change until the full moon in two days. So I thought, okay, he's maybe they have, you know, some antidote or something like that. They can change him back to human. That's true but too. He mm -hmm. is with vampires. So that's not probably going to happen. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And no human knows about this, so mm -hmm. he's yeah. done for. <laughs> and it is good that Celine didn't know right away that he was bit either, because who knows right. what decision yeah, she, she would have made there knowing. Right. Uh, and I thought the uh, other woman, the blonde, was going to say that she bit him or something, you know, just to just to get some turmoil in there, because she really wanted to be with Craven closer than... Um, you know, Celine had no interest yeah. in him, but mm -hmm. she wanted to be 
So you had a triangle um, going on. Yeah, yeah I, think so. I thought she was trying to, you know, <laughs> stir the pot. Yeah. Now, <laughs> sure. yeah, because when she said, I'm helping me, that makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right, yeah. She, yeah, she wants her out of the picture so she can step right up. And just that's the thing, because right. she's yeah. just like Craven in that way, where she thinks that yeah. she can get what she wants if she manipulates enough and just in denial, yeah. because he had no interest in her before. And say if things worked out in her favor, Celine ran away, that was it, and he moved on. Like, would he really choose her, though? Because he just doesn't seem like that kind of guy. No, with the he same doesn't. Personality. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of it's like, almost like Celine having can't have. no interest with him. He has no interest with her. That's I know. <laughs> it's like, no, you know, how it get feels. what you want. Yeah. <laughs> So, Wishful thinking. What did you think um, of, well, did you think that Michael was going to actually change or combine bloodlines? Like, did you, what did you think Michael's whole purpose was of this film? Like, I watching think, throughout? Yes, more or less. I thought that he was going to change, you know, get a mix of bloodlines. I thought he was going to be a Lycan and then someone like Celine was going to, and she did, but for a different reason. But um she was gonna you know like balance it out with her bite well she did i mean she made him the ultimate so you you knew you, were, you thought that was gonna happen yeah but i didn't think it was gonna happen like this way but i thought she was just gonna do it on her own mm -hmm. and i'm so happy she found out about craven like right off the bat like she what she thought he was bad mm -hmm. you know and she enough. had awoken up you know she, victor victor so that that was pretty good. I was happy about that at the moment. I didn't know Victor was the bad Victor guy. Was so, yeah, but. Me too. Was a lot of guy. twists, a lot of corruption <laughs> yeah, going on sure. here. So the yeah. whole time we're following these vampires where they're made in a way to be the hero, in a way. Like, we're following mm -hmm. them, so we're kind of, like, rooting for them. And, you know, we're getting scared for mm -hmm. Celine and the other vampires, especially when the Lycans are chasing them. You know, and then we start to find out all these twists that not only was it a whole betrayal thanks to Victor, you know, where That's he right, just yeah. didn't want the bloodlines to be close at all. Like, nonetheless, like freaking combined. What a bigot. Yeah. And yeah, he yeah. even lied to Celine because mm -hmm. he felt mm -hmm. guilty about killing her. And he killed, and like yeah, and he killed his, right. her whole family. That's killed her whole right. family, never knew. kids. Yep, mm -hmm. never knew yeah. that. He lied all this time, and he's all righteous and everything, because he's like, yeah. well, I gave you a gift on top of that. So he tried to make um, it okay in his head, so you know he does that with everything. Uh, yeah. So pretty crazy. Yeah. So if you think about it, there's a whole lot of racism in this, because they don't want to mix the species, quotation. I mean, it's more right. extreme, because they're yeah. actually different species. That's, the whole, but that's, that's right. That's the whole war. Yeah. I love the concept of this, where you have two extreme, even three, because you have humans, I mean, you have extreme parties at war, and then in a way, you have love like bringing it together. Yeah. Yes. Right. right yeah. Yes. And unfortunately, it's all a misunderstanding, like the whole That's thing right, yeah. for, mm -hmm. for centuries. What did yeah. you think? It's mind-boggling. What did you think of the chemistry between Celine and Michael? Did you see chemistry there? Did you I think thought, there yes. was something when, going on? Yes, when she kissed him. Well, when you kissed him, yeah. Yeah, yeah when he said something I, then. And I, I didn't think he was going to be so sweet on her so quick. I, mm -hmm. I thought he'd yeah, want to like, get back to his private life. Like, get me the heck out of here. But when he went back to the mansion and, you know, wanted some help, I then I was like, okay, well, he's, he's fallen for her. He just wants her to help him with this. But I didn't think he was going to, like... Be attracted her so quickly. I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard not to. She's mm -hmm. a beautiful woman. She's she is, yeah. <laughs> I really like her. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Something's gonna come yeah. out of it. I haven't seen this in a while, but I forgot like if they even kissed, and I was like. Oh yeah, okay. Well, it happened kind of quick, but I think it was still well done. It was quick. Don't get me wrong, but it yes. kind of had that feeling of you know uh, love at first sight or meant to be, like it was fated or something. Mm. Like they had like a big attraction since the beginning, yeah. and right, yeah. um, they were always drawn to each other. So I felt like they had that like fated energy that they were supposed to meet up or something. That's what mm. I kind of got from this yeah. movie, watching it for the first it, yeah, time. Yeah, it had to have been yeah, because it, to, it yeah. did seem too quick. That's right on both sides. But the chemistry no, was really good. The way it that was. they filmed yeah, it, it yeah. I thought it was yeah. really well done, just the stares and everything. But then nothing oh, yeah. happened at the end. They just kind of stared yeah. at each other and walked away. 
you know, yeah. together, but they still, you know, yeah. there was no makeout session or anything like that. So, but I think that was plenty for us to say, to know that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, we know that they're going to be a mutual together. understanding yeah, or something. Yeah. And then the lichens actually backing away in the shadows at the end. Oh, I loved good. that. Yeah, that was good. What I did you think that, that meant? It. So he is the king. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, oh, wow. maybe. Yes. I mean, that's my assumption. Again, I'm just living that's in this fine. movie, yeah. but that was my assumption too, because when, like, I first thought it, I'm like, oh, are they afraid of him? And I'm like, oh, wait, no, they're respecting yeah. it. Like, this is what Lucian they're wanted, easy. their leader wanted, and it happened so even though he died which really sucks once we found out I like know, he really was actually the good guy <laughs> i mean he looks yes. so vicious biting michael and like ah, and enjoying oh, yeah. it with all the blood in his mouth and like oh my god but and then being you know then we saw him with craven and i was like oh, he is a jerk oh, you know okay, yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. but no, and then yeah craven so surprised. oh god so annoying and he actually shoots him too like he's like the coward that just gets away with a lot of crap That's all right, the time yeah. and even yeah, shoots yeah. him up even more afterwards so i'm glad that lucian oh, stabbed yeah. his leg <laughs> yeah <I'm> just, <laughs> same yeah. too <laughs> yeah so that's for sure i'm glad we watched it because i do believe this is an underdog movie we don't see a lot of vampire werewolf movies i'm trying to really think i like i'm kind of spacing yeah, out on that I but know, we did see blade that's a really yes. good halloween movie yeah, yeah so and we've seen zombie stuff that. but not you yeah. know it's different vampire <laughs> yes. and werewolves i mean Wolves, that's yeah right up there it's pretty cool though i love yeah. it yeah so not that I've seen a lot at all, but I really do enjoy this. I love the vampires. I love the werewolf idea of them being at war with each other. Humans have no idea, really. Maybe a few do. Who knows? You know, Michael, yeah. poor guy. Like, he was just, like, thrown into this against his will, yes. just bitten <laughs> and tortured and going through these changes. So the whole idea of this is just really freaking cool. And another thing I really enjoy is the vampires are undead, but they are more extreme where they're still kind of alive too because when we see like victor come back from the dead we'll say you know we saw his heart beating again and things like That's tissue was coming back like they're not like zombie yeah, dead regenerate regenerating right. yeah and they're yeah, not super strange. white like dead white like they're white because they don't go into the sun um which is the normal thing that we usually hear with vampires you can't go into sunlight um, yeah. So I love that idea of the vampires, and they had like a lot of uh, goth type looks, you know, with um, yes, and they very were yet so elegant, and, just hanging out yeah. in the mansion. And That's I right. love that feel, but it kind of made me—I didn't say anything watching, of course, but like it kind of made me laugh to myself because I'm like. I know they're busy doing stuff, but you have like these vampires like always in a sophisticated party. Every time poor Selena that's like walks right. yes. through and she like marches through with her cool leather yeah. on that's or right, pleather yeah. or whatever or latex, <laughs> and um, and then you have like all these people like mm -hmm, just having yeah. a party around her like all cool <laughs> and in a pose, and then she's like like mm -hmm. going right through. So I just yeah. love that it's feel though because it just tro yes. it totally makes me think of this is what vampires would do, you know, when they're not yeah, busy. That's right. Like sucking blood that's or right. whatever that's right yeah they're just drinking it like glasses of wine yeah, yeah. and they have like their own company or something where they had sophisticated or that's synthetic right. blood they do. oh yeah so they how do. smart is that they're because totally otherwise it. with so many vampires who knows how many are there you know like if you're constantly no, feeding off right. i don't know if they feed off animals but if you're feeding off humans all the time someone's going to take notice you know no, right. Population yeah, keeps growing especially with technology so. now so it's kind of yeah. neat that they were trying to find other ways to keep quiet and control themselves mm -hmm. more and yeah That's right. anyways i thought the idea Keep of the, the money flowing cool. yes, <laughs> yeah and there's more movies guys so if you guys request we have yeah. polls on our patreon so if you want to vote on there we have them almost every monday um we do look at our requests on youtube but patreon's the best place to leave your request so we can definitely put that on our list but overall you guys liked it so yeah it was yes, good we did. yeah yeah was good. and i think it was not as violent as other things we've seen because no, yeah, we've seen a lot of different things yes i think I scream as although it's very different mm -hmm. i think scream 2 mm -hmm. bothered mom a lot more than this did yeah, yeah, i remember yeah. how you reacted during that yeah, and it was okay yeah. but you just don't like the brutal stab although this was kind of brutal yeah. but it was just different yeah, i don't know yeah very different world and, different uh, feel yeah Mm -hmm. So guys, please let us know what you thought of this movie. I think it's highly underrated. I loved this movie when it first came out. Everything about it was great. The story, the characters, the acting, um, the brutality of the different worlds and what they went through, the twist in it. Like I wasn't expecting yes. Victor to actually 
be like such a bad guy. Like, um, yeah, I thought he was going to be a good guy. <laughs> yeah, like sure. for a while, it was like, wow, we're rooting for the vampires here. And I'm like, oh no, they're the bad yeah. guys. It's the werewolves that we f- should feel bad for. <laughs> and then, oh, Victor's really screwed up. Not only did he kill his daughter, like he killed, um, he killed Celine's family too. And yeah, you know, and his grandchild. And his grandchild yeah. because he was too proud to mix the races. It was just insane. Yeah. yeah Very now powerful. that actor that played Victor, he was on Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Yeah. So oh, I, I, you know, I, I didn't want to throw this out, but you guys are so good. Saw, yeah, he okay. was Barbosa. Yeah, she's always so good yes. at that. Yeah, and. <laughs> There's so much good acting. Like, I love him so much. And he was in a couple other things, I believe, that we saw on the mm-hmm. channel. Please let us know, guys. And, yeah, he was just <laughs> absolutely amazing. Too. I did say briefly that I was just going to check to see what year this came out. But, yeah, he was just incredible. Yeah. We had Kate Beckinsale in this, Scott Speedman, Michael Sheen, Theo James, Bill Nye. I really like him. Uh, Charles Dan, <laughs> Shane yes. Broly. Um, I think they had a great cast in this. Like everything was just so believable. I love Kate Beckinsale so much. And she actually, I remember watching something a while ago. Her costume was so hard to wear because it was, I think, full on latex. I can only imagine. Oh, no matter how skinny yeah. you are, like that's hard to get into. And she said that it was so like hot special, all yeah. the time that they always I had to have, imagine. like, make her comfortable. And um, she'd have to, like, train herself mentally to be okay with it because it's so claustrophobic. You can't breathe at all in those mm-hmm. things. Um, and I did, mm-hmm. when I was really skinny, I actually wanted to cosplay her at one point, but then I never got around to it. Like, I actually had the whole outfit, and it looked so cool. But once I tried on the freaking latex suit, it was so hard because I was, like, a size zero at the time. And I got, like, a size three or four to make sure that I could fit into it. And, like, putting that on, I used to crack up with my friends. I'm like, why should you try to put this on? And I would powder the crap out of myself, <laughs> lay on the ground and try to, like, squeeze myself into this thing. And right when I got it on, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't take it. I can't take it. It was just way too much. And, uh, yeah, so I give her a lot of credit for actually oh, acting boy. and fighting and actually moving around in that thing. I mean, she looked really fantastic. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. But, man, like, the stuff you have to go through for a movie it's just pretty incredible and everything and about to, it was just pretty awesome it's all about the dollar yes. signs <laughs> and Woo. i have to give you a lot of credit too dawn with making all those costumes and all the costumes you climbed into thanks mom really something else <laughs> you gotta be a little crazy to do so i was very motivated <laughs> a little crazy oh but i loved it oh my god like all the crazy costumes i used to make in the past things are That's so right. different now because oh, you yeah. have 3d printing like now i'm dating myself but you know i sculpted everything by hand That's i sewed did. everything by myself um, and i mean i had a machine to sew as well but i love to sculpt everything on my own and yeah. it was just a lot of fun and very time consuming and i would make such incredible huge costumes that i would climb into my biggest <laughs> problem too was in the past i didn't take a lot of freaking pictures of it either and i really should have you yeah. know i would go to conventions i have a few pictures here and there but i never took a lot of them because i'd always overexert myself like just wearing the uh, costumes well, going out sure with friends did. and having fun and they would take some pictures here and there but i really regret not taking a ton of pictures because mm-hmm. now it's like so many years ago that i'm like wow you know just to you know if it was like now everyone takes pictures it's so much easier you know now we have smartphones and at the time right. i had a flip phone <laughs> so i just didn't really <laughs> back in the day back in the day guys the day. And, yeah it was just very different and that's you right. had bigger cameras and stuff. You didn't really use that on your phone. Oh, God, that was so long ago. But uh, anywho, yeah, it was definitely a lot of good memories, a lot of fun. And I was, woo, I'm like, how did I even do that? Like, in summer, that's when I would usually go out in these heavy costumes, like a mm-hmm. like a wolf costume. You remember my old Demon Shishomaru costume, the big oh, demon dog sure that I did. That's what I was thinking. quad suit, <laughs> and I used to go around in that thing, and that was monstrous. And even making How to Train Your Dragon Toothless. And people yeah, had to go huge. around and spot you too to make sure you didn't I had pass wonderful, out. I have wonderful friends. Yeah, they were yes. amazing and always spotted me and stuff. So, anywho, guys, love you very much. Please let us know what you thought of this movie. Mom and Kim's first time blindly, purely going into this, and yeah. Yes. So until next time, if you want to see our full reaction, please check out our Patreon in the links below. Love you guys, and see you very soon as always. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.